this class we discuss about electric welding processes there are two methods of electric welding one is non fusion or pressure welding this process involves heating of work pieces to the temperature range in which the base metal of work pieces becomes plastic state and work pieces join together by applying pressure them filler material is not required in pressure welding the next is fusion or non pressure welding in this process heating of work pieces to be joined to a temperature above the melting point of the metal of the work pieces and the work pieces are joined together without the application of any pressure this process requires additional filler metal through an electrode there are about 35 different welding and bracing process and several soldering methods in use by the industry today as per the german national standard din 1910 welding is broadly classified into two one is pressure welding another is fusion welding there are three types of pressure welding number 1 gas pressure welding number 2 resistance pressure welding number 3 friction welding the resistance pressure welding has two types one is conductive pressure welding the second is inductive pressure welding again the conductive pressure welding has five types one is a resistance spot welding number 2 projection welding number 3 roll seam welding number 4 pressure butt welding number 5 flash butt welding in general welding is classified in six categories one is resistance welding second is arc welding third is gas welding fourth is thermochemical welding fifth is radiant energy welding and sixth is solid state welding there are six types of resistance welding number 1 butt welding number 2 spot welding number 3 seam welding number 4 projection welding number 5 flash welding number 6 percussion welding there are five types of arc welding one is carbon arc welding second is shield metal arc welding third is tungsten inert gas welding or tig welding fourth is metal inert gas welding or mig welding fifth is plasma welding there are three types of gas welding one is air acetylene welding the second is oxy acetylene welding the third is oxy hydrogen welding there are two types of thermochemical welding one is thermit welding the second is atomic welding there are two types of radiant energy welding one is electric beam welding second is laser beam welding there are six types of solid state welding one is cold welding second is diffusion welding third is forge welding fourth is fabrication welding fifth is hot pressure welding sixth is roll welding principle of resistance welding resistance welding is a fairly simple heat generation process the passage of current through a resistance generates heat the general heat generation formula for resistance welding is i square into r into t into k where i is the weld current through the work pieces r is the resistance in ohms of the work pieces and t is the weld time and k is the thermal constant the weld current i and duration of current t are controlled by the resistance welding power supply the resistance of the work pieces r is a function of the weld force and the materials used the thermal constant k can be affected by geometry fixturing and the weld force now we'll see the advantages and disadvantages of resistance welding advantages number 1 very short process time number 2 no consumables such as bracing materials solder or welding rods 
Number three, operator safety because of low voltage. Number four, clean and environment friendly. Number five, a reliable electromechanical process. Number six, parent metal is not harmed. Number seven, both the similar and dissimilar metals can be welded. Number eight, heat is localized when required. Number nine, lesser skill is required. Number ten, difficult shapes and sections can be welded. Disadvantages: number one, very high initial cost. Number two, high maintenance cost. Important terms in welding. Number one, amperage. The strength of an electrical current measured in amperes, or the magnitude of an electric current measured in amperes. especially the rated current of an electrical device or component number 2 arc voltage the voltage across the welding arc the arc voltage has an important effect on the weld bead shape and the depth of penetration the precise effect being depend on the joint preparation number 3 arc current the current that flows through a circuit while a welding is being made number 4 arc length the distance between the tip of the electrode or wire to the work piece number 5 arc blow the deflection of an electric arc from its normal path because of magnetic forces number 6 duty cycle the percentage of time during a time period that a power source can be operated at rated output without overheating number 7 skew time it is the time that elapses between the initial application of the electrode pressure on the work and the first application of current number 8 arc time the time during which an arc is maintained number 9 weld time the time for which the welding current flows through the parts being welded number 10 hold time the time during which pressure is applied at the point after the weld current has created to flow these are all the important terms in welding with this i conclude my lecture thanks for listening